Next up is Alex Tyler. Alex is... Well, he hasn't told me much, but based on numbers I see in your boat, I suspect you are from the UK. He wanted to have some tips on how to improve. There's one main thing I can point out right now, Alex, and it is the way you let your forces flow through the body. Sounds complicated, very simple. Look, I want to start off with the drive as usual, because this is where you can see the results. And then I want to go on and work a bit on the release and on the recovery and on the way forward, we will see what is the cause. So the first result we see is this motion right there. And Alex, you look like a well-trained athlete, but this here is something where you use too much power. You're basically too stiff. So this part right there, the lat, the armpit, the triceps, this should be loose they should be loose you should be hanging loosely and just place the blade in the water just let it swim naturally and then start to pull what you do here however is you basically tighten everything up and as you're so tight you can't just lift your arms it's not like you're unstable you're pretty stable in that boat but it's it's a bit too stiff for everything you do it's like stiff it's stiff pull so the one force you have is you're stiff because you try to stabilize forward However, you would like to pull this way. And as there is something like push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, it's a challenge. It will not work. So what you have to do is to reduce the force that travels from the shoulders into the hands at the catch. This is not the point of time where you want to be extra stiff. You want to loosen up and you want to be as heavy as you can on your seat. However, there's a problem you are not loose here because there's a lot of weight on your hands right there there's a lot of weight because you try to bring in the seat too much that's if if you have a lower hunched back which is what you have right there then you're really trying to get the seat farther forward because it feels like a long stroke but in the end you can try this out um, go to the catch all the way with the hands as far as possible and then just play around bring your seat forward and bring it back and you will see your hands stay in the same position and i think you're just forcing yourself to be too far with your um seat to the foot stretchers because apparently you want to have a long stroke i don't know maybe you feel you're like too small or you, you somebody has told you you gotta have a longer stroke this is not the way to do it your hands will stay stay in the exact same position um but if your seat is farther back you have pretty much a straight line then to your hip and a the forces can travel better b most importantly a lot of weight can be on the seat and not on the spine on that spine bend you have there and if a lot of weight is on the seat you're much more stable in the boat and if you're more stable in the boat you can loosen up your triceps your lats and your armpit and your shoulders overall i think they're a bit tight and then you can hang and loose. It's like riding on a Harley, one of these, you know, big motorbikes. And I'm not a motorbike fan, but you know what I mean. And, and this is a bit the position you should be going for. Uh, you can also, I, I used to call it the chips and Coke position. So you sit on the sofa and, and, and you have a chips and Coca-Cola, but you should never eat and drink that, of course. And you're just very relaxed. And this is exactly with the shoulder girdle what you should have. So I think loosen up a bit, relax. Um, trust in yourself that you are long enough you're not too short and then your blades will be closer to the water now the problem with all of this um, what you do right now is what happens now of course you need forever to get the blade into the water and now you stabilize your trunk with an upward pivot first up you straighten your back here to get exactly that linear drive I was looking for and you straighten up your back because this is the natural way forces float. Your back tells you, look buddy, I cannot handle that bend here. Please change my posture. And this is what you do. But it will cost you about a quarter of the stroke, right from the catch to three quarters. So it is not effective. The point is you go very far to the catch, but you don't use it. Because you have too much weight on your oar handles. Alex, I hope this makes sense. You have a very straight back now and you stabilize the boat with an upper body motion. I've said this in a couple of videos before. It's one of the classic 
not efficient ways to stabilize the back and always the result of the preparation okay and additionally you pretty tighten your arms and the way you want to row is loosen up a bit more in your sh in, in your lats in your triceps and armpit shoulders are okay now and let forces float let them run through the the first part of the, the catch is basically motion only don't try to be extra hard at the catch be soft be very very soft and then use use the the momentum of your body weight and that's the second problem right there you're not using your body weight because you're gradually bringing the upper body through the entire part of the drive towards the finish there is no kick momentum there is no leg drive acceleration whoop upper body mass because you stabilize the body with this backwards rotation around the hip and therefore there is no real momentum that can build up good alex i'm and yeah and, and now you you have to interrupt that finish and do more with the arms Zoop. and this is also why you wash out the washout is nothing you can change there okay and this is also why you lean back quite a lot and you don't seem to have a lot of space at the finish okay alex this is not a tragedy although i understand it might sound like one you are in very good company with a lot of the other athletes how to change this simple steps if you watch my videos frequently move forward it's the same things i usually say good first of all first up um no this is actually something i don't say a lot how do you get out of this cycle where the upper body is in a long backward lean which is probably not efficient alex i bet five euros that your feet have no resistance on the foot stretchers at this point of the stroke because there is no connection it cannot possibly be because you're leaning back there is no resistance on the blades so your feet are probably somewhere loose and this is not very stable good now the way you get out of this is you do 20 strokes with very straight upper body don't lean back don't even think about this and this will help you to bring the upper body forward into its final forward lean position this is the if you notice you can skip this and go forward and now the legs should move so legs come too early let the legs wait a bit longer prepare the upper body this way you have all the seat all, all the weight on your seat or most of the weight and then when you move forward oh this is something where you should not have skipped forward i know i'm not a good advisor in this but this is something you should know what i do a lot with athletes and even myself because i tend to forget this as well use the elbows so in a straight back weight with the legs and how do you loosen up you know the armpit try to pull the elbows forward don't go with the arms try to pull the elbows forward low shoulders is the result first of all and second of all you have to you gotta have a loose lat and the loose lat is exactly what you need to get a bit of pretension as you go forward pretension is not a tension you generate by contracting muscles it's a tension that is a reaction to a bit of a stretch this is exactly what you need exactly this and then at this point of time you already have very light hands and the blades will be much much more controllable than now and then you will end up at the point of time where the blades don't skydive but they land like an airplane very nicely on a water runway and then this part which takes forever now will not take forever your blade will be in the water will feel like whoa what is happening here well, there's not much weight on the hands Back. easy and then just hang on to your oars don't try to kill it at the catch be very very soft first part is motion only you got to connect with the element you row in connect with the water make sure there is a full force connection between the blade and the water it forms like a water bubble hold on to it and then whoop, move on from there use your body mass legs and after 20 strokes you know being very straight up at the, um, the finish i call this reset stroke and we even do it during racing if it's going really bad this is what you want to do Re really bad really badly i think yeah yeah it's an adverb correct me if i'm wrong alex i hope this makes sense i hope this helps you and keep me updated this is nothing major this is something a lot of athletes have to learn have to understand and i wish you all the best okay next up